Uh, what is the screen? Today we're going to be playing some Hearts of Iron 4, but we are not going to be playing the game, we are just going to win in the game. And what better nation to play than the US? Simply because if I played Germany, then um... Surely there's a conquest war goal for the Soviets against Germany. The Soviets legitimately do not get a war goal against Germany. That seems strange. But if I were playing Germany, yeah, I suppose if we played Germany, nothing would happen. Italy would just declare war on the Allies, and then the Soviets would declare war on Poland, and you would just... But we're playing the US, okay? We're playing the US. I already did a mistake there. Since we're not going to be playing the game, we don't really need infantry upgrades. I will... Yeah, right. Let's... Let's explain what I'm actually doing. <laughs> I forgot about that. We are not allowed to deploy any units or use units. We can use spies. We can use... Uh, Land lease. We will be able to use planes. So it's pretty much a planes only challenge. I just felt like playing with planes today. You could make an argument that the navy is also fine, but I feel like today we're just gonna be playing planes only. I'm gonna build roads everywhere, just the way God intended when he created America. Uh, you know what, just fuck this. Since I will be playing with land lease, I... Yes, I know I just lost production efficiency, I don't care. I will just build guns, I guess? And then um, we can... Uh, I didn't think that far. I just thought, hey, you know, I want to play with planes today. I want to click on this button. This is gonna be weird. And I guess I won't have to worry about sinking my own ships this time, since I'm not gonna be building any ships. Boom! Shakalaka. And then we can also invest in... Arnold. Arnold would be kind of fire, though. Since we are playing the US, concentrated it is today. We are not going to be going for a lot early on, so we can just sit on most of the things we have right now. Ooh! That's insane. What the fuck? I didn't know the US gets General Motors. That's insane. There we go. That's a beautiful research. Four on planes, one on nukes, and then one on computing. We are not going efficiently here five years ahead of time but we are going to be building some insane things very early on and once they're ready these planes are gonna deal damage can i yes depression is gone the big sad is gone you just need to wait half a year and then it's gone it's so easy just don't be sad can i apply to healthy gamer now to make sure i don't use my navy i will accidentally sink all of it i will keep the pride for the war support. This doctrine costs us 25 whole points. Oh, there's no rush with this whole war thing. Well, this is probably not that bad in Europe. I really just tried to shift to the infantry tab by pressing control one. I've been programming way too much lately. We could also just keep on building factories right now, which is more useful than this stuff, but this is more, you know, it, it, it's cooler to just be independent. Yeehaw! Oh god, I'll have to do this manually. I don't have any armies that I can just assign them to. I have to manually <laughs> send them everywhere. Come on, Japan, I'm rearing for a fight. You're doing so well in China. Come on, just just declare war on the Philippines. Oh, there we go. I didn't get any notification for that. It's weird. There we go. We are part of the Soviet Union, the common turn, and we should have joined the unions now. The Soviet Union needs to have more than 80% surrender progress. Then we will just declare on all of the enemies of the Soviets and we will annex the Soviets. I thought we had cores on them, but apparently not. Now there's not really anything interesting that we can take, so... Um, construction? Ah, air production. Yeah, that sounds... <laughs> air production does sound nice for me. Sure, you can take MacArthur. I <laughs> don't plan on using him. And I can't use my planes now. There's no way to ask for plane access, which I suppose makes sense, else you'd get mill access and you could troll people by getting mill access and putting up useless planes. But it's kind of weird though, you know? The only ways to get access to someone's airfield is by occupying them, allying them or sending them volunteers. I feel like you should be able to refuel your planes in someone else's land if they allow it. I can do something with my planes. No. Why is that the airport over here? Mongolia, why? Come on, show your planes, you cowards. He would join. Sure, let's let's bring a little bit of chaos into this game. And boom, we have green air. 
<laughs> What's the German Air Force right now? What? About about 2k planes. We've already destroyed 800. Just look at that number go up. We only have 3,000 planes deployed. <laughs> No, wait, we only have 2,000 planes deployed because they are all just waiting, they're exercising. This is insane. We're still just taking out 50 planes a day. I do want to annex the Soviets, so I am kind of tempted on, on just recalling my planes. We have 4% war score just from destroying planes. <laughs> He's down to 400 planes. The Italians don't have any planes anymore. Oh god, they are softened up. They are softened up. I stopped the advance here. I stopped Barbarossa just by using planes. What the fuck is this? Are you serious, America? For this challenge, I shouldn't do this. But it's also funny, especially since I'm not communist. You're supposed to do this when you're communist. Stalin must be very confused. There were some super planes that just shredded 7,000 Axis planes within a few months and now they're gone. And it only cost me 525 PP to guarantee the independence of Turkey. Let me do just that. Come on, just, just, just make Stalingrad. Oh, we can join the unions. There we go. That's just 353 factories. The Soviets are gone. We got 20 factories. They did learn How American did accents very couple? quickly. Why did I do this? I seriously have no plan now. I cut it out of the video, but I only went down that path because I thought it was funny and I thought I could send my planes to the Allies. But that's not possible. So instead I just restarted completely. There's a small problem here. This will move us closer to a civil war. I don't really want to have a civil war in this game. So I will just not have a civil war. That does sound like a plan, right? What do you think? Write it in the comments right now. Wow, thank you for the viewer interaction. Now we can ban communism. Yeah, you can ban communism, but still hire the communist revolutionary. Can start lobbying again. And we will go for the Agricultural Adjustment Act. I don't want to go at least to guaranteeing the American dream. Wait a minute, we can just fire Browder now. We don't need him for these two anymore. Arsenal of Democracy. And we can go for Giant Wakes. In 1938, May 1938, we do have 140 factories. Woo! I was wondering. This the screen looked weird, but it's missing the it's missing the um, consumer goods and the uh, traded goods. It's missing how many factories I I'm using for other projects right now. We can start producing a little bit of rubber again. Not really worth it, since I don't need the oil. I do have enough oil. But it's fun, you know? It's fun to be independent and free. And I mean, that is what America is about. If you're American, at least. Freedom and independence and opportunities. And paying your own healthcare. Nope. Stop. I'm gonna be nice to Americans today. They are also deserve to be treated nicely once in a while since the country isn't doing it for them oh god the african front has cleaned up perfectly destroy every plane i have and i will send the trash to the uk i guess i can also send oh my god 530,000 guns that are just sitting around here I guess i can send them come on japan do something can i join china china must be democratic to be in a faction with us <laughs> wow I don't have to be democratic to join the Chinese front. No, China has to be democratic, so that I would even consider joining them. But now we're allowed to join your faction. Yes, thank you very much. As my first order of business, I will deploy 2,000 Era Cobras. I will start training them on the front lines, on the aerial front lines. No, I don't want destroyers for bases. That's, that would just make me stronger. I don't have any destroyers to give you for your bases. You know what? Let's go for it. I've been quirky enough today. I might as well go balls to the walls and scam the UK after helping them. I can still build air bases here, but they are occupied by the Italians. I will build air bases for the Italians now. I built them, so they are mine. Piss off, allies. Actually, that's smart. Since I am building the airbase in Attica right now, which is occupied by the Italians. Oh god, please don't lose this airbase. If we lose this airbase, then this whole strategy falls apart. My idea was, okay, I'm gonna build an airbase here, which means the Axis will start pouring 
planes in there, which means I can destroy these planes, but doesn't look like they really care about those bases and defending them. Great, we just lost another island. Ah! You cannot win Hearts of Iron 4 by not playing the game. There we go, 127. Ugh. But this should be fine, I'll just build a few less of these. And I will do something very funny now. Deliberator B24. Let's do some strat bombing. Oh god. Their AA is... Uh, that's not fair. Casualties 1. But for our current production, we should be able to... Yeah, we're, we're slowly getting more strat bombers out there. And then we also have our logistics and our fighters, which should protect them if the Axis ever start sending their own planes there, which don't think they will be, at least for a while. I mean, th this is not a really threatening, considering we only have 40 planes, that's damage sometimes. I mean, like 0.5 not, but like uh, 10, we had, or oh, five, we had five earlier? I don't, I don't remember. My brain is what? Where are you? Who are you? Oh. Maybe you guys can tell me if radar in an allied nation helps us. Because I can't really see it. Like, I don't know if that is the case. Okay, I'm... S 70? 70 damage? I don't know what the allies, uh, what the Axis just did, but they really just got riled up. It's not as fun as the Soviet one, but these are still very nice numbers. Okay, let's first build roads. Okay, airport is fine. Radar, I can't. France, what the fuck are you doing? Why don't we have radar tech yet? It's 1943. What's your planes looking like? 2K? Let's just do this quickly. 70% stockpiles. I did the 70 logistics the entire time. I thought it was the UK. Okay, that's a little bit of damage. Could be higher. <laughs> I only have 1000 cas here right now, you know? Sadly, we don't get war score for this. Let's do a little bit of logistics striking then. <laughs> I love planes, man. Soviets are not losing that hard. Yeah, you're actually... They actually pushed back into Königsberg. It's a very weird front line. Only 1,000 planes left on... <laughs> the Italians don't have any planes anymore. Turkey joins us. That's actually pretty good. Give me a few Aracobras. And then um, let's jump a little bit of cash here. And then let's dump a little bit of this stuff here as well. Every single... Ah, uh, there's one base that's not filled. Oh, you can also choose your targets with strat bombing. 10,000 enemy planes. 11,000 enemy planes. Germans only have 600 left. I can see that I'm dealing insane damage. The Germans only have 300 fighter, 300 planes left. Don't think I can do anything. Best I can probably do is produce the equipment and then lend lease, which historical. <laughs> Just not that the US only use planes. Also, um, let me enable battle plans for my allies. There we go. Now I now I know where to help out. And that's definitely not in France. I don't even want to understand it. What are these front lines? 15 planes for the Italians. 20% <laughs> division attack on core territory and defense. That's so busted. As if it wasn't busted enough that you have America, where it's incredibly hard to navally invade. And then also that you have to take like everything except for this piece of land. We do have 6% war support, uh, war participation, only 1000 by strat bombing. What the? What are you doing? I will say, I did overestimate how much damage CAS would do. I, I thought the AI would, like, with those CAS numbers, I thought the AI would just start pushing. Apparently it didn't. I can already hear some of you type. Is it worth it to build only planes in Hearts of Iron 4? Honestly, if you were to play Hearts of Iron 4, I think you are better off just building units. Especially because then you will get war score. Okay, um, I think the fighters have done more than I assumed. Usually you would see the Soviets having 10 million casualties and the uh, Germans having 8 million. Usually it's the reverse. But these are the insane numbers. What is China doing? 
What is Japan doing? How are you winning and losing at the same time? You took the Indies? You still haven't taken the Philippines. And Manchukuo is getting pushed in by China? I'm not even gonna pretend to understand what's going on here. A part of Malaya and then a part of Siam is con controlled by the British, but you also control a part of it? Just give me Madagascar, please. Okay, what, what, what is this? Why did, why does Poland own parts of Germany, but so do the Soviets? That's technically an Iron Curtain. You just have a nice little mole in there, you know. It's reverse West Germany. And Turkey saw that we were finally at peace and just decided, yep, let's burn this place down. Which means I can now use my planes once again. And that's very beneficial because that's one way to get over to Japan. I do feel sorry about this Poland. Out of the war and back in the war. Though I suppose it's also better than current timeline in a way. O original timeline. The British occupation zone cannot become a free yet. 3k planes. Yep, that sounds about right. Still producing planes, but it doesn't matter. I mean, the egg is soon gone and with him most of the aluminium. Let's continue building air bases until we are in Japan. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to influence anything whatsoever. That sounds like fun. Enemy railway guns bombed. 400. <laughs> uh, how many trains do you have? 1.5k, okay. Let's see if we can change that. Those truck stockpiles are... Oh my god! Surely that's not me! They are... <laughs> the supply is... <laughs> they can't supply... <laughs> what?! Sweden has also joined the Allies. What the I guess Turkey can't deny the NATO entry in this timeline. <laughs> they only have 40% supply. Can't really see it on the front lines, if we're being honest. He'll probably switch to horse supply thing soon. Also, oh my. Where did, you sh where did you just find 600 trucks from? Logistics striking should be should be part of the war score system. It's so weird that it's only strat bombing. Like, I get it. Mm. Numbers. I love numbers. Especially green numbers. Oh no, China. China, no, don't. Don't do it. At least end the war with Japan first. I know you have almost won, but this can just... This can cause so many problems. <gasps> Actually, that is amazing. They will join the allies. I think they should join the allies. No! Not this China! The other China! Wait, what? You can spend CP to gain efficiency boost in territories? Why did nobody tell me about this? Granted, the only ones that can really make use of this is the US, since everyone else has doesn't have enough child porn, I mean, uh, command CP. I guess it's cool. You want garrison support. Wait, what? They still have manpower? Sure. You know, like, on the one hand, I do need my manpower in case I'm getting attacked. On the other hand, I also want this game to end. Oh, cool. I've never seen that. China just joined the front that they left. That's a weird one China policy. You know, Poland, if you're having trouble with garrisons, then you can also just give it to someone else. <laughs> also, what is this? The UK just snaked into Russia. Oh, you guys are very confident. If you cut off this one province in Dali, they are technically all encircled. Also, I am an idiot. I should have done something much earlier. I can't push myself, but I can make the AI push. You lost up there as well. The Soviets are doing a counterattack. How? They shouldn't have any industry left whatsoever. Just come on. This is so frustrating. It's 1948. I will start developing nuclear weapons if it means I can be free of this curse. This is all Turkey's fault and communist China's fault. If they didn't declare war, if Turkey didn't declare war on the Soviets, then I guess the UK would have declared war on Iran. And if communist China just would have waited a month then we would have China. Well, we do have green. Can't wait for them to push two tiles and then it's all gonna be red again because they don't have any supply anymore. Oh, we actually have... We don't have. Also, what are the allies doing here? Oh my god, what are the allies doing here? Okay, give me, give me a minute. I need to... I need to save this. Why did you invade with 
five divisions. This could end the war against Japan. This could end one of the three major wars that we're in right now. This division doesn't even have strength. Just run, run around this division. You have four divisions here. Since I have FOW on, that is a pathetic defense from Japan. Five divisions here. Five. What in the fuck? What has China done to you? You only have 14 divisions left and 3,000 airplanes. This is so sad. You're telling me this is a historical depiction of a battle for Japan. Seven British divisions versus five Japanese ones. Zero percent supply fulfillment. I wonder whose fault that is. Yes, Japan has gone only 50 points. I don't care. I just it's 1949 almost but now i can at least use these ports beautiful heavenly ports of the sky to bomb china into oblivion china doesn't have any supply anymore three trucks 40 trains one percent supply fulfillment <laughs> I'm losing my mind. And worst of all, I didn't even do nothing. I played the US, so the US didn't even help the allies. If I just watched, this would have been over quicker. No, I can't build there, but I can build anywhere. You told me that, Dosa san. There's 25 divisions here and then nobody is here. I will send some guns to China for the anti-fascist war because you are so vehemently anti-fascist China while being only at war with the allies. Have your 1000 weapons, I don't even care anymore. Why do I still have the flying tigers and then? I feel like I should have recalled them at some point. Then again, I am no general. Let's build a few more planes. Planes. You can tap them to add white mana. Let's bomb the tank. I think that's... Oh, I love nukes. I love that they added that nukes reduce war support. I love that war support. Oh, facts. Oh. They have five trains. Pretty much no factories because everything else is bombed. 30% supply. It's 1915. Oh my god. You know what's the worst part about all of this? Nobody is telling me to do this. I'm doing this all of my own accord. I just wake up at some point and I'm like, that would be fun to play Hearts of Iron 4 and only use planes. I really sh need to reevaluate what my definition of fun is. Boom, shakalaka. Let's use the ground crews, whatever that means. I will just say, at the time of recording, there has been no conflict over Taiwan. Oh fuck, I accidentally opened the console and I... Ah, ooh, ah, fuck, oh. My my PC is lagging. I cannot control anything right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, shit. That's that's so weird. I don't know what's happening right now. This is such a weird p paradox. Please fix your game. What is this bug? Oh no! And look at that. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to click it away, but I can't. I guess we'll just have to live with the fact that I accidentally researched all of the additional tech to get more building slots, so I can put more nuclear reactors in there, so I don't have to destroy every single factory in a state, which is extremely annoying. Ah, I also could have just built in Russia. I forgot I owned that piece. Wait, why are you alive again? <laughs> I annexed you. Didn't he get a newer portrait? I feel like he got another portrait instead of the old shriveled up Franco. You've done this. He's just... Just don't do this. I will say, dealing 76,000 enemy casualties using only planes, that's actually pretty fire. Considering it's 1950, 110,000 people is not a whole lot in Hearts of Iron. Wait, Vijo, you're not supposed to know about the playthrough overview yet. You just created a time paradox.